In this short video, we're going to cover one of the little sand traps of Civil 3D Survey, how that Civil 3D Survey skills conflict sometimes with our AutoCAD skills. We're in a place in the world, we have a survey database that's been connected. We'll just open that for edit, so we could do this all read-only. We've seen this before. Here's the whole network of shots and all that stuff pumped into the drawing and there are quite a few a couple of thousand points in this survey uh, we'll remove that from the drawing and we've seen before uh, we have a a query here it inserts nothing but figures we can preview that in the drawing you can see that's a selection set of queries out and i'd like to get and put that into my drawing so I put that in my drawing, and I end up with a bunch of figures. Just to make this simple, let's turn our map off. So I have nothing but figures in the drawing. I decide I don't want some of those. Maybe I want to put things in the surface. We can uh, do by selection, select similar, make sure we got all that kind of figure out. All these guys, let's select similar, get all those guys out. We've now deleted uh, some of the figures from the drawing. If I'm thinking like AutoCAD, okay, and I can remove in Civil 3D, I remove those figures from the drawing, and now they're all gone. If I come back and go, oh, I like those back in the drawing. I can use my AutoCAD skill and simply undo, and I have those back. Are those figures connected to my database? So I can select all my figures and remove those, and yes. So the undone figures are all still connected to my database. So I'm pretty confident that now my undo skills are gonna work, and that works fine. Then I come along and I put all my points in my drawing. And there are a couple of thousand of them. Over in the Prospector tab, I have a good point, solid point collection. Let's open my tab over, slide over, and we can see these are all survey points. I can update my point groups. I was using a really sim simple description key set. It's uh, not doing much with the points. I'd like something prettier. So I hop over to my settings tab, go to my description key sets, go to the properties, grab a set with point styles assigned, come back to survey, move those points because I know by now that that's real quick. Put the points back into the drawing. And I'm going to get point styles, symbols assigned to a good number of those points right away, uh, which is exactly what I want. But if uh, I'm still thinking in AutoCAD land, I decide, well, I'd really like to get rid of those. I select them. Instead of removing them from the drawing, I'm selecting them. This will take a bit. Now I just want to erase them, so I'm just hitting the delete key. That will once again work fine. In my survey DB, just to be clear, I've still got all my points. If I'm not thinking about it, I use the undo command, just like I did with the figures. Go back one here. I got all my points. Everything looks the same. Everything is not the same. If I go over to the prospector tab and look at my points collection now, slide over you'll see these undone points <laughs> are now just simple cocoa points if i come back to my survey db i can prove that real simply by attempting to remove all the points from the drawing those points in this drawing because of the undo or oops both of those do this uh, will be completely disconnected from my survey database so this is something that you want to be careful of and keep track of 
you want to trust the database for the points, expect that you add and remove them by tools from the survey tool space in AutoCAD Civil 3D.